air signs. How are you doing, my beautiful air signs? I hope you're doing wonderful. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you're Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, these messages will be for you. Now friends, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand, not all messages will resonate and that is just fine. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com, where you can also sign up for my manifestation workshop on May 17th. That'll be with me and Diana from I Got Five on It Tarot, so get in on that. And of course, friends, if you enjoy these messages, don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Okay, air friends, this week we're gonna be doing spirit animal messages. I love doing spirit animal messages. So let's see what spirit animal wants to come out for each of you and what the messages are that they're bringing. Starting with Gemini. Gemini, please. Ooh, hang on, Gemini, Gemini. Whoops. Gemini, please. Gemini, please. Spirit animal messages for Gemini, boom. Okay, Gemini, this is lizard and dream time, okay? And what it says down here, and pay attention to your dreams and visions. So some things might be changing, but it might be happening in the dream landscape first before it comes forward and is actually manifested into the physical realm here. But this is a very straightforward message. Are you literally having dreams that are knocking your socks off? Are you seeing things and then they're coming true afterwards when they're in your dreams? Spirit is trying to talk to you, possibly while you are sleeping, so pay attention. Changes are coming, my Gemini friends, okay? All right, so Gemini, please. Lizard and dream time is here. What does Gemini need to know from their lizard spirit animal? Gemini, whoa, hold on, what is this all about? Okay, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, there are some changes coming up for you and I think all of this is to the tune of patience because I feel like there's some stuff that's coming down the line for you. Um, and again, I don't know what all of this is. I don't always understand all the messages, okay? But this is telling me that you are actually at the beginning of trying to figure some stuff out again with dream time. Not everything in your dreams is clear, right? Many times it's, um, it's obscure or it's vague, all right? But I've got here the page of swords in reverse. So this is kind of like, Something's gonna be starting, or it's like you 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 feel you know when you just have that feeling like something's going on, but you can't put your finger on it, and you don't quite know exactly what's coming. Now, don't be afraid, Gemini. But we also have the tower showing up here as well, which is telling me that thing that you're feeling like, ooh, what what's that? What's coming down the line? It could be something you're not expecting, possibly something that you're not really liking too much. It could be uh, dramatic. It could be coming out of the blue and be unexpected. This also might cause you to have to take a power position with the emperor. Okay, so this is kind of like Again, this is going to be showing up differently for all of you Gemini, okay? Because these are very big, but there's definitely some big changes coming and you're already feeling it. All right, so with this Emperor card coming up, it's telling you that as things get a little rough, you're going to have to pull up your socks. You're going to have to be prepared for this. And as a result, be ready to make decisions that maybe not everybody is going to like, but sometimes you have to be someone who's willing to make the hard decisions because not everybody does. Okay. The other card that came out to support all of this, which is a beautiful balance card is temperance. Okay. Patience, my pet. Okay. So even though all of these things are going on and you might be surprised by some of the things that come around in the next week or so okay which cause you to be like what the heck I wasn't expecting that be patient because everything is happening for you not to you so when these things come and you're not sure and then it's forcing you to go in another direction or to change uh, positions and take a harder stance or maybe draw the line this is what's going to lead you to your next chapter or what's coming in for you all right and I feel like these things are gonna be positive so the universe is lovingly trying to tell you that even though you don't see the forest through the trees, some things are coming, just be patient, ride it out, and don't be afraid to make hard decisions when you need to because these decisions are gonna be in your best good and possibly the best good of others. Hang in there, Gemini. Libra. Hey, all my Libra pals. I know some fantastic Libras. So if you're one of my Libra pals, sending you so much love. Okay, Libra pals, let's see what spirit animal is coming up for you this week. Libra, please. Spirit animal messages. Spirit animal messages from Libra. Libra, please. Whoa. Okay, so the one that lands in my lap is your card. <laughs> Aw, koala and 
and empathy. Speak less, listen more. Sometimes, Libra, you learn more information by being a wallflower and hanging back and just observing and checking things out. Keep the information or possibly your opinion at times to yourself and just allow things to be. Sometimes when you sit on the outskirts of the situation, you get a better view, but without being involved in the drama, okay? Huh, that's just how that makes me feel, okay? Libra, please. What's the details for Libra? Libra. Three cards for Libra, please, on this koala energy. Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. There's two and three. Okay, so Libra, part of the reason why you need to kind of be on the down low for just a little bit is I feel that there's some heavy stuff going on in your life right now. This could be with friends, family, etc. I feel like possibly you might be seeing others in your family or in your environment struggle. And as a result, maybe you're the person that's trying to make everybody feel better or maybe you're the person who's trying to right the wrongs for these people, okay? So I really feel like with the way that these cards are coming up that it's almost like you're this bright light in other people's lives, but they don't actually want to do lots of changes for themselves possibly. So you're just kind of there fielding for them. All right. All right. So right away, we've got the three of swords in reverse. So this could be the heartbreak card though. Now it doesn't have to be heartbreak about, you know, romantic love, but this can be frustrations that maybe you are viewing and seeing other people suffer, but you are not directly related in it. But of course, if you see others that you love or that you're connected to suffering in whatever right, whether it's physical, whether it's mental or emotional, you as an empath, empathy, right? You naturally pick up on their energies. You naturally feel heavy. So be on point, Libra, because just because you feel someone else's energy doesn't mean you need to smother it all over yourself and feel bad too, right? Right. So, and this is exactly what we're talking about with this five of pentacles in reverse, okay? The five of pentacles is lack mindset. So whoever it is that you're dealing with, or if this is you, okay, it can be for you as well, Libra, but I feel like this is you fielding other people, okay? This is telling you that heaven helps those who help themselves. So I, even though you're part of the person who's trying to help fix everything for everybody else, that doesn't mean again that you gotta you know, sit in that energy with them. And again, speak less, listen more. Do the things that you need to do to help people and to make them all good and everything, but don't jump into their problems. Don't make their problems your problems. Be that happy person who can walk beside them, giving them loving guidance, but not doing the work for them, okay? And then the other piece that's showing up here is the sun, all right? Now, this card came in reverse, but it has like two messages here. The reason why I think this came in reverse is because it has to do with the individuals that are Around you and the situations that you know you're watching from afar or close but not super involved in and as a result they're not feeling good but the Sun is here to advise you that again you are this Sun or this beacon of light in their lives so don't let your light be dampened by others who are having a difficult time we can still be loving and compassionate to others without feeling their pain okay uh, one more card for Libra please one more card boom there it is yeah, the chariot, okay? You keep doing what you're doing there, Libra, okay? Pay no mind, don't get sucked into it again. Speak less, listen more, be that helper, be that person who's bringing the positive vibes into the situation and help people go far, but don't get caught in the snag. Aquarius. Okay, my Aquarius pals, you are up. Let's see what spirit animal is here for you this week and how they can help you out. Aquarius, please. Spirit animals for Aquarius. Spirit animal messages for Aquarius, please. Whoa, hang on. Does this, is this going to come out? Ooh, I think so. I think this is for you. One more card just to validate. What's the... Oh, okay. Here we go. Hold on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Aquarius, I have raccoon and kangaroo coming out for you, okay? Raccoon, resourcefulness, you have everything you need, okay? So even though you might feel like you're behind the eight ball right now or things aren't going your way, know and understand that everything is given to you within time, okay? It doesn't mean that, on this, um, that all of a sudden we wave a magic wand and everything's perfect. But if you're feeling low, if you're feeling like things aren't working out, there are things available to you. Maybe you don't see them the way you need to see them yet, but things will work out for you, okay? And 
and also Kangaroo is also supporting this, which is about gratitude, okay? So definitely, even though things might seem grim or heavy for you at this time, or you feel like, I don't know how I'm gonna get there, be happy. Control the climate of what's going on by being grateful for everything that's around you. And then suddenly you're gonna be seeing things with the glass half full perspective instead of the glass half empty. And then suddenly you're gonna be able to crack this energy and move forward in a beautiful way, okay? All right. What's the details? What's the details for Aquarius, please? Three cards for Aquarius on resourcefulness. Raccoon energy. Raccoon energy. Aquarius. Aquarius. Three cards for Aquarius, please. Whoa. All right. Let's take these cards. <laughs> okay, yeah. You don't, okay. It's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine, Aquarius, but this is mirroring almost exactly what I said. Like, not sure where to start, not sure what to do, where do I get my resources, not feeling like I'm in a position of power, but I feel like I need to get somewhere. It's gonna work out. Seven of cups in reverse, okay? So you're feeling overwhelmed. You feel like you got a lot on your plate, but you're not exactly sure how to deal with it all, how to manage it all, or what things are on my plate that I don't even need to manage at all, period, that I can just scratch off my list altogether. So you're feeling overwhelmed and confused with all of these new things that you want to do and picking and choosing where you want to align yourself with these projects. Now, because you're feeling overwhelmed, emperor in reverse, okay, you're not feeling your normal Aquarian self. You're not feeling like you can take charge and move forward and make things happen the way that you normally make them happen. You might be, your confidence might be feeling a little bit low as well, okay? But know and understand that you are just going through some ebbs and flows of life. We all have these ups and downs that we have to manage on a regular basis, okay? So just because you're feeling a little bit down or not in your regular strength, it's okay. What that ultimately means is we're going to be going back up. So get ready to take action, Aquarius, okay? And look what's coming down the line the sun. What better ending can you ask for it than the sun, all right? So this is telling you, you are in the midst of transition. You are changing. You do have all the resources you need, even if you don't see the resources for what they are now. You might start using your resources in different ways than you have before. Think about creative inspiration and how you can use your existing resources in different ways to get you in a different direction, okay? So you hang on, Aquarius, okay? There's stuff coming up. There's lots of work to do, but chill out. You don't have to have it all figured out today and you are gonna get your confidence back and you are gonna come out smiling. So don't worry, but remember, attitude of gratitude will get you very far, very far. Air signs, I hope these messages helped you and that you loved hearing from your spirit animals. If you enjoyed these sessions, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and support me so I can keep supporting you and join me next week for your next reading. Thank you, air signs. <laughs>